Ladies and gentlemen, we got another teacher sleeping with a student. And pedophilia is a major problem in teaching here in America. There are a lot of teachers that they want to be in these professions so that they can be near children because they just want to have sex with them. You know, and what other better way to get near children than to become a teacher? And it's a problem that has been going on forever. And America has yet to do anything about it. I mean, a lot of times we find out about these stories, they don't even want to jail the teachers that have done these things. But then again, there are certain things they don't want to jail you over. You know, look at the Catholic priests. Very few of them went to jail. If you're of a certain profession and you molest children, America seems to be okay with it. So here we got a softball coach in Ohio that pled guilty after sleeping with a student. Well, uh, apparently after she did the deed with the student, she begged them not to tell. But obviously they did because she got arrested. So this is now former Ohio teacher assistant, Ashley Rison. And she pled guilty to sexual misconduct with a student. A former Ohio teacher's assistant and softball coach has pled guilty to charges related to sexual relationship with a student. She reportedly begged the student not to tell authorities. Ashley Rison, 31, an employee at New Miami High School, is facing five years in jail after pleading guilty Wednesday to sexual battery and gross sexual imposition in response to allegations that she had sex with a 17-year-old student, WXIX-TV reported. Rison's indictment states that she engaged in sexual conduct with the minor eight different times in April of 2021. In addition to what the child tell us, we do have recordings between Rison and the child where Rison makes multiple incriminating statements in asking and begging the student not to report her to the authorities. Butler County, Ohio Assistant Prosecutor Lindsay Sheehan previously said in court, wow. So, I mean, so you knew you were wrong. If, if you were begging the student not to say something right there, you knew you did something wrong. You knew it. The alleged crime were reported to the Butler Sheriff's Office on May 3rd, 2021, and Rison quit her job at the school on the same day. Yeah, she was probably afraid they were going to come up there and arrest her. That's probably why she left the same day. Prosecutors said Rison is not being charged with rape by force and is believed that she engaged in criminal activity with only one victim. Mm -mm -mm. To me, it's always rarely uh, that it's one person. It's usually multiple Rison began working in the district in August 2025, and she was a coach on the girls' softball team and basketball teams, WXIX-TV reported. Rison is scheduled to be sentenced November 16th and might be required to register as a sex offender. What do you mean, might be? What do you mean, might be? No, she should be registered just like anyone else that do these sort of things. New Miami High School did not immediately respond to requests for comment from a Fox News, uh, Fox News Digital. But you know what, y'all? 
she will probably get a slap on the wrist, just like many that look just like her. You know, we see these cases come up every single year, which tells you there is a serious problem with this in America. It is. Pedophilia, you know, should be taken seriously when it comes down to these schools and the education system that harbors a lot of these people and don't want to do anything to them. But y'all, please tell me what you think. I, I doubt if she, I don't think she's going to get no five years. I really don't. You know, and I'm just going on the previous teachers that look just like her. Some of them didn't even have to go to jail. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.